Agriculture is said to be one of those industries that has the opportunity to create the most employment. And today, right here at Farmer's Choice, we're here to learn about how Andile is creating opportunities and exposing young people towards farming and agriculture. This is The Farming Show and my name is Mbali Nwoko. Andile, one of Farmer's Choice core business models is also to train, upskill and develop young farmers. Why is this such a passion of yours? Funny how Mbali, you wouldn't work, you wouldn't really work with someone who doesn't really understand the values of what you do. So part of skills development, I'll say it's to make one understand the importance of what you're doing and the reason behind whatsoever that you're doing. So for me to do skills development, it's just to make one aware of what we're actually doing and the reason why they need to be doing what they're actually doing. For instance, we're doing farming. Yeah. I need them to understand the value of farming. And also, apart from that, we eat on a daily basis, I've mentioned that. Mm. So one needs to understand the importance of food production. And besides that, I don't want someone to work for me for the rest of their lives. So part of skills development is that you learning the skills that we have in here as Farmer's Choice. Yes. And at the end of the day, it's for you to take it out mm -hmm. and do something which will sustain you for the rest of your life. Yeah. With your progression in the agri industry, would you say you've also had such people before that have maybe mentored you to, to get to the position and the level that you are at today? I mean, I've been an intern before and funny how with farming, but I think I would say um, being an intern in the agricultural space is one of the hardest thing because mm. you get to learn the ins and outs, get to be bright by the sun and also <laughs> <laughs> having to enjoy the luxury of being in a lab like agriculture is broad, yes. which is why we bring in skills development is also to make one be aware or understand that agriculture is not just being in the sun but also there's the part where people are enjoying having to be in a lab aircon and all those stuff yes so i had the privilege to go through all those steps being an intern having to learn the ins and outs of farming which is why i'm also trying to pass on the same thing to the next generation as well yeah i think it's a noble thing that you're doing because a lot of people need to be exposed to such opportunities that you've mentioned right now but we have a young lady standing with us here can you perhaps introduce us to her and uh, we get to know what she does at farmer's choice so one of the greatest things as we do the skills development part of it so we have your nay Porter, who is one of our intern and I'll let her introduce herself and yeah. let you know what she does on a daily basis. Yeah, you know, thank you so much for joining us. What do you do here at Farmer's Choice? So um, I'm pretty much kind of like a day-to-day -day manager. Okay. <laughs> so like I come in, I make sure the plants are working. Yeah. I make, um, I help take levels in the tanks, and I help harvest, and I also help distribute. Yeah. So like with all of that i've learned a lot <laughs> especially with professional rapport between um customers of ours yes and also just maintaining the space I've, it's new to me like i'm an environmental science student i'm third year oh, wow. and i haven't experienced this before so when i came in here she was such a good tutor to me yeah. and i'm and i'm so so grateful she's also going to help me with the honors project next year oh that's so, fantastic like my knowledge is just growing and I'm going to be learning so much more and we're going to be testing a lot of things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Next year, yeah. Has this opened your perspective around farming? Um, you know, do you look at a dinner plate now and think, sure, we could be growing this crop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> and especially like with the urban aspect of it, be, it being on a rooftop, I mean, if you look around here, there's 15 million people around mainland. Just the distribution aspect of it, if we could just, you know, expand. Yeah. Imagine that like, you can feed so many more people with so much less resources. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's true. And so where do you see yourself in the next three to five years after you've completed the honours? Mm. 
I would love to do something in sustainable agriculture, especially with a permaculture or alternative agriculture like um, like hydroponics. Mm. Um, something along those lines. Mm. But you know, a lot of things that can happen from here to there. <laughs> but Indeed. yeah, I'm very interested in this field. Indeed. And you know, there's so many other students or young people, even unemployed ones, mm. that are looking for such opportunities. Um, what's your message to farmers in roping in or bringing in young individuals to learn about the agri-industry and maybe production uh, as well? I mean, we always say agriculture is like the backbone of our country or mm -hmm. of our economy. And to carry out the daily duties that we do, we need young people, we need to transfer the skills of us who are already in the industry, but to bring in the new skills of um, agricultural graduates mm -hmm. to work with us. So I would say to farmers, allow agricultural graduates to come in, do the skills development, allow them to learn the ins and outs of farming and just give out your knowledge about farming mm -hmm. and help grow another child, help grow another farmer. Mm -hmm. And like I always say, it simply starts with one seed. Yeah, apart from UNA working here at Farmers Choice, how many other young uh, uh, graduates or students are you absorbing in your business and um, for how long are you going to keep doing this? <laughs> so, I mean, this has been um, closer to me because I've been a student before. So, I think it's something that I keep on doing every now and then. It's not something that I've started just now but I've been doing it before, as you've mentioned, the number of years that I've been farming. Yes. And currently we have six. So we had seven before and then the other one graduated and now there's six. And yeah, we're going to carry on working with more graduates as time goes on. Because, mm. I mean, we'll ne we always need people to do farming. That's true, that's true. And would you say with the, with the incorporation of young agricultural graduates or students on your farm, has that benefited you in any way, just on the bottom line around business and maybe the responsibilities that you have to bear as a business owner mm. and a farmer? I mean, you can't, I'm not saying anything about old people, <laughs> but I like them young. Yeah. Because, I mean, part of it, my market is right where we are. Yes. So we don't really drive out, we actually run into our clients. So having someone younger who can then actually easily run into doing deliveries or whatsoever that we need, it's better. And also, we're still talking about skills development. Mm -hmm. We need the younger people to have all the skills that we need rather than old people. Yeah, so now you're feeling pressure to grow so that you can <laughs> absorb more students? Yes or no? Yes! <laughs> That's good to hear. Yeah, uh, I think we all need young people and we all need to do skills development as yeah. farmers as well. Yeah, the agri-industry needs young farmers at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's lovely chatting to you ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Who would have thought that farming on a rooftop would create an immense difference to young and aspirant farmers? This is what Andila is doing with her business, Farmer's Choice. She's educating and upskilling young agricultural graduates and informing them on the importance of farming for the future. Thank you for watching this episode of The Farming Show. Take care.